Hello, hello, hello. Um, I am back in Grimsby, the eerily quiet place that is Grimsby. Um, and I just thought I'm going to do a, a quick vlog for you all to show you uh, basically where I grew up. Um, we did a few lives over the course of the last few weeks and we've talked about Grimsby. So I'm currently, um, I say Grimsby, I always say I'm from Grimsby because most people are born in Grimsby and they're from Grimsby because of the hospital. But I actually grew up in a little town next door to Grimsby called Cleethorpes and uh, a little village next to Cleethorpes called Humberston. So I'm currently walking through the Humberston Country Park Estate. Uh, this is a man strewing his hedges. It's probably the noise that you can hear. And um, I'm actually walking past shortly my old house, which is where I grew up um, with my two sisters and family. But I'm en route to Kate's house because Kate's home for a few days. Uh, this is the house that I grew up in. Someone else lives there now, so I can't really stay for too long. That was mine. Um, but I'm en route to meet my friend Kate and we are going to take you around some of the hot spots. <laughs> say hot spots, but some of the local um, uh, places in Humberston, a little village, um, and give you a little glimpse into the past. See you soon. Uh, so, I'm currently walking past. You might hear a little bit of traffic. It's a little bit noisier now. It's probably as busy as it gets. But I'm currently walking past that little shop there. Just point it. Sorry, hold on. There we go. And that was called Four Boys back in the day. And that's where I used to work as a paper boy. And uh, I used to have to go, I absolutely hated it. People, bless them, I used to do an evening paper round. And I was so lazy that I essentially just used to wait until about eight or 9 p.m. because I could never be bothered once I got home from school. And obviously people were like, we're about to go to bed and we still haven't received our daily paper. And that is also when I made the local news because uh, my bike got pinched, got nicked, used as a getaway vehicle. Uh, some thugs stole my bike and it made the local paper. The Grimsby Telegraph mum said she always knew that I was going to go into some sort of performance because apparently I called the Telegraph before the police. <laughs> and I was like in the paper, it, it was like made front page news. Lee, Lee's bike's been stolen because that's slow news day. I've actually been away from Humberston for since 2009. Uh, I went to Manchester to study uni and I left this place. So I've obviously been back and visited. But it always strikes me, especially now living in London, it always kind of strikes me as weird because people stop, they'll talk to you, people you don't even know. The other day I was walking to Kate's and this woman stopped me in the street and was like, I know you from somewhere. Oh, where is it? What's your mum and dad's name? Where do you live? What do you do? Where did you work? Oh God, where, where is it? It's gonna get, hit me, don't tell me. And I'm there for like five minutes and I'm going, uh -huh, uh -huh, like, I don't know what to say. And that is the difference. I mean, if you did that to someone in London, you'd be like, piss off, mate. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's a very small village, very nice community. It's where people smile at each other as they pass and you don't even know them. They probably think I'm really moody and up myself because I've probably not done it as much because I'm just so used to London not making eye contact. So I'm arriving now at Kate's house. Kate is about a 10 minute walk from where I live. And we went to the same primary school. We went to the same secondary school. And uh, yeah, we've remained friends since the age of four. Now I'm 30, she's 30, she's older than me. So let's go and say hi to Kay. I just let myself in, it's like a second home. Let's see where she is. Here she is. To the front door, oh, the back door. See you in a bit. No? I can't smell it. So I'm joined by, uh, joined by, joined with, joined, <laughs> joined by, I'm joined by Kate. Hi guys. So I'm joined by Kate. 
Hi guys. And we are gonna walk, it's just a short walk, and it's weird actually, because I was thinking this on the way here, it's the shortest walk ever, but But I feel like we, we young, thought it was ages away. It was away. like ages away. So I live 10 minutes from Kate, and she lives, I'd say about another 10 minutes from where we're about to take you, and that is the Humberston Church of England, C of E, Primary, primary school. school, where it all began. It is, it's where we met. We actually met in preschool. Yeah. So it's like a little attachment to the school itself when we were four years old. Yeah, so I haven't been back here for years. Presumably it's not open because we're recording this in uh, summer holidays. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to go and have a little nosy and see if we notice anything different. My memory is quite terrible. Um, very good. Kate's <laughs> very good. So let's see if I notice anything that's changed. Then we're going to take you on uh, to a place called Wendover Hall. Uh, we're going to take you to the church, the local little church. That we were both christened in. Yeah, Humberston Church. And then we'll take you to our old secondary school. Uh, <laughs> see you soon. So I'm currently stood, we stopped to get a coffee in the local library. This was our library and it was quite big from what I remember and the sad times probably due to the fact that libraries are, I won't do it, but in the, it's now half of it is a cafe. So that's, I mean, <laughs> I'm saying it, I'm here, <laughs> I'm here for a coffee. <laughs> Uh, but it's quite sad because I remember you used to come to this library. It, it does mean that the library can still stay yes, open, yes, so, so it makes it. sense. There's also outside there's a massive boulder, like a big rock, and I remember that being huge when I was little, and I've got pictures of me standing it trying to push it. And now I look, and it's really not. <laughs> and this library was opened on the 30th of April, 1971, by Maggie Thatcher. Yeah. I can still feel her presence. <laughs> <laughs> here, stood outside. The Humber Stone. This is the Humber Stone, a Humber Stone. So this is, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> and that ends our travel vlog. <laughs> this is uh, obviously how Humberston got its name. Apparently it's named after some guy called Ubba, Ubba. which it stands for like Hubba, and it's the Humber Stone. Dating back, that stone dates back from about 11,000 years ago. Yeah, it, the Vikings brought it down Tetney, which is the next village along, to what is now called Humberston. Yeah. We only know that because we've just read a little plaque that says it. So, yeah. All right, so here we are. We can't go in, which is a bit annoying because I wanted to just walk around. You used to be able to do that in the old days, yeah. didn't you? Well, you can walk down the side path and you can see Oh yeah, it. we'll do that. This is the Humberston C of E Church of England. Well, Humberston C of E Church of England Primary School. Do you remember the school's motto? We hold the keys. You open the doors. <laughs> I do remember that actually, we just read it on the sign. So this is uh, our primary school, we used to obviously, uh, we were in the same class for pretty much all of it, weren't Until we? Until year six. Until year six. But then he used to come, because he used to come up to my class because he was cast as the lead in the school production. So we, we got classes together again. Yeah, what, what was the lead? Uh, David Copperfield. And in it, David Copperfield, yeah. <laughs> it was a tough casting process. Um, he was the underdog and it was quite a moment when he received the, the role. So our first classroom was, was that over there, with that one? Was Miss Knight, no, where was Miss Knight and Miss Care? It was definitely over there because I remember she made me a magic wand. Yeah, we first bonded, our, our nursery teachers were Miss Knight and Miss Care, great names. And we bonded over our love of magic. And Miss Knight, I think, made me a, um, magic wand because I was obsessed with magic. Yeah. So we're going to walk down this little pathway now. And this used to lead on to all the, um, the horse and cow fields and I remember walking this way home we used to always give um, polos and mints to the horses. Was that safe? Well that's what everyone used to do Lee. <laughs> I, think it, I think it was, I mean, just carrots as well maybe but we definitely used to give mints <laughs> to the horses. Fresh um, breath, oh look there's stones and stuff here. Yeah they've done a, a stone snake. And you add one on everyone that comes to visit. We should add one on. Let's go get the Humber Stone and add that on. <laughs> and then this was the big field. Now, sometimes, Don't, right? It breaks my heart how small it is, but. <laughs> so uh, this is new, this bit here, this wooden yeah. bit. So basically we used to, um, we had a playground around the corner. I don't know if you can see just over there. 
we had a playground around the corner and we'd always probably just have to play in the playground and then on real treat days and on sunny days mm -hmm. uh you were allowed to go on the field and it would be like huge news it'd be like you can go out on the field so we could play on the field and do you ever remember that i know what you're gonna the say snow day. the snow the snow day you weren't ever allowed on the, were you never allowed on the field if it was snowy if it was icy if it was wet wouldn't happen and it was like a blizzard with thick snow so good and mr smith who was arguably probably one of the strictest teachers in the school uh blew his whistle halfway through break and we were like what's going on what's happening we were on the playground and he just pointed to the field and we shot it was like lion king stampede. it was ridiculous Everyone was like, yeah! it was honestly i've never felt <laughs> elation like it They are exactly the same swings, <laughs> as you can tell. I mean, these should have been updated. If we can start a crowdfund for this, it'd be great. But Wendover Hall was essentially just some sort of community centre hall, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I had all my birthday parties as a kid in the, in the hall, which is in the corner. And then this was just the park. This is where the village fates used to be, because the church is next door. Right, so I'm going to tell you this story in a second as well about the monk's cave, although I'm furious because this is a new fence and they've really fenced this bit off. It's, there's a reason for it. It never used to be that big. Over here, as you can probably see, and I'm using my viewfinder on my watch there, but over here is the church. And back in the day, there was this legend <laughs> that we used to have. And over here, there was kind of just a small fence, but you could never go over to this part. And it was because it was the monk's cave. And the monk's cave was this kind of old, mythical, kind of mysterious place that no one was allowed to go to. And the legend had it that there was a guy that lived in like the gate. That's weird. That's weird. There was a guy that lived in the gatehouse and uh, he used to guard the monk's cave. And if you got close to it, he'd come out with a shotgun. Anyway, he had dogs and stuff. And one time we were playing football around here, me and my friends, and we were like, let's go over to the monk's cave. And we decided to kick the ball, kick the ball over. So what we'd do is we'd kick the ball really far to the monk's cave and then go in to look for the ball so that if he did come out, um, we'd be, we'd have an excuse. Anyway, we did it and he came out. He came out with a gun, he came out with a rifle. And, um... Do you think instead of it being a monk, it was just someone who was like, get off my property? I mean, I'm also very much aware of the legend, the myth of the monk's cave. I never dared to step foot. We never knew. Apparently there's relics and stuff. It's an old monk's cave. Um, but this guy guarded it and we never got to it. We don't know now if anyone ever made it to the monk's cave and if they did, whether they returned. Okay, and here we are at Thomaston Church. It always feels a bit weird going into a church, even though it's just a normal place. You always feel a bit like, oh, so I'm gonna try not to swear. This is this... where we were both christened by Reverend Tinker. Well, no, it's Tinkler. And we had this argument the other week uh, was the Reverend called Reverend Tinkler, which I thought it was, or was or it? Tinker, because that's what I used to call him. Okay, it was going, it's Tinker, it's Tinker. So, um, what did I do? I rang the church. <laughs> too much time on your hands. <laughs> I found a number for the church and uh, the local vicar confirmed to me I was correct and it is Tinkler. This is also where, because we were a Church of England school, this is where we used to go to school to do all our Christmas concerts, to do Harvest Festival. Harvest Festival, I was obsessed with. So Lee was one of those kids, you had to like bring something to place on the altar, so some type of food. And loads of kids would bring like a tin, so I used to bring like tin fruit and stuff, put the tin down. Lee every year would have like a hamper, <laughs> would walk through, place hamper down, he was just extra. I'd be the main event. <laughs> he was. He was. Um, and yeah, so we used to come and do like Christmas concerts here. And what did we sing, Kay? Said the cat to the mouse in a dark little house in a stable so long ago. I am wondering why that great star in the sky is shining upon us down below. And the night sky is closer. I only knew my part. <laughs> 
All right, here we are outside the Humberston Academy, previously just the Humberston School, and uh, the gates are open, which is a good thing because I actually walking up here was thinking if the gates closed, I'm climbing over them because I was thinking it's going to be so boring just showing you the outside of places. So this was our Humberston Comprehensive School, secondary school. And uh, this is what we call the turning circle, <laughs> where basically cars just used to turn. It's essentially a roundabout. Um, you know what though, I hate it because this is where we were made to do cross country and we just have to go around it and I hated running. So uh, this school actually, comparatively to most secondary schools, was small. Oh, yeah, there were only small. about 600 pupils in the entire school. So I think there were obviously six years. So yeah. there was around 100 people in one year, which is why we kind of knew everyone. pretty much everyone, although my memory is quite terrible. But everyone like in the years above, years below, most schools you don't really have that kind of friendship, but we knew yeah. every year. Um, God, this feels really weird. Are you feeling a bit like, oh. I'm feeling a bit scared that we might bump into a teacher and they uh, might you know tell what? us off. I actually don't think we know any of the teachers there now. Um, yeah, so um, Kate's mum as well used to work at this school. Yes, yeah, she did for many years. She's a teaching assistant and uh, a dinner lady. And, and she was our dinner lady too. She was our dinner lady and it was so funny because she used to let all like me and any of Kate's friends cut the queue for lunch, but Kate was never allowed. She used to go to She was like, I'm not picking favourites. Can't show favouritism, Kate. I was like, you've just let all my friends in. <laughs> <laughs> so that means I can't go and eat with them. Okay, so... It's our form. Yeah, we're going up to our form. So our first form was... 7S. 7S, uh, which was Mr. Smith in year seven. And he then left for a while, didn't he? And yeah. we moved into we 7C, was... which was Mr. Capon. Oh, did we change our letters? I thought we yeah. were Well, we might have said it was S. Um, but this is... It hasn't changed, really, has it? It hasn't. Uh, so actually, I'm going to go and stand outside the room. Mr. Smith was an art teacher. Yeah. Um, so the room was quite... The door's open! Oh my god, oh my god. Right, oh, can you hold? It's the main hall where we used to be heads of the uh, drama club. <laughs> it's just down here. Yeah, so this is... This is the school and this was our first ever form. If you can see, I'm checking my little viewfinder. This is the first ever form here. Look like they're doing some sort of cleaning. There's a media suite, and uh, I'm gonna go in. Oh, wow, it's still art, it's still art and design. Oh my god, this was the theatre. This was our theatre. We used to come in. Where we used to do all our Do drama. We did Sweeney Todd here. Sweeney Todd, Kate and I. There's a video, I might try and put it up. This feels weird to be in here. 
This is where we did all like our GCSE performances. Assembly. Head boy. <sighs> Lee was head boy, I was a mere prefect. My name's not on there, they, did, they haven't started recording, they only started recording it since 2010. Oh. This I distinctly remember because this, I did my uh, year um, nine, year 11 French exam, oral, and um, I remember um, my teacher, I think, was our teacher called Miss French? No, she's called Miss Hill. And uh, she had my oral like paper that I'd written out and I was just reading it upside down. So, and you were meant to memorise it. And then she caught me reading it upside down and uh, and kind of hid the paper. And then there was a bit where I struggled and she just slyly put the paper down. Thanks, Miss Hill. Hope that doesn't get you into trouble. Thank Je m'appelle Lise. C'est écrit L. Je suis de Cleethorpe's Prédé Humberston. Je suis anglais. Mon anniversaire le 16 juillet. Well, Lise, have it. Well, not her, because you used to skip them, but it's piano lessons. <gasps> wow. This is so weird, because it's kind of like... It's not open. It hasn't, hasn't changed. This is the We music spent, like, room. every lunchtime in the music room. With we our drama used teacher. To hang out there all the time. We used to have choir practice. Lee wasn't a member of the choir, but it was my friend, so we just used to sit and watch. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, we're going to have more of a walk around until we basically get told off. So, uh, see you soon. Right, so, this is the science labs. And uh, we used to, me and Holly, oh, I'm just having a oh my God. This is the science labs. And me and Holly, I can hear a car. Um, we had a teacher called Miss Key, who I had a bit of a love-hate relationship <laughs> with. We used to always tease her, and on Valentine's Day, we arranged... Like, honestly, I know what the story is, and sometimes I'm like, why? Did, how did we do this? It's so weird. We got a rose for Miss Key, and I used to call a lot of the teachers, including Miss Key, by her, their first names, because <laughs> I thought I was it. When I was head boy, the power went to my head a bit, so I'd be like, Joan, Joan, Michael, and they'd be like, uh, Lee... Also, with his cup of tea, he used to walk around with a used, mug. Yeah. Like... And uh, so her name was Jane. Jane Key, if you're watching. Hi. And I um, hope your son in Australia is doing well. <laughs> anyway, we walked in once on Valentine's Day in break. And uh, six, six Well, you girls. walked in first and you said, let me just get my bitches. <laughs> yeah. And then I went, you're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off And all six you. of us, he was in the middle and we were like behind him doing like backup dancing and i was like i love you janie yeah, and if it's, it's quite all right <laughs> i need you janie and the girls would go <laughs> justin lee when he says and then i had like a a, a, a rose in my mouth i mean honestly i mean seriously we need to get a life it's just a lot <laughs> right oh my god it looks tiny again so this, so is, this is the break and i'm gonna superimpose on this video now Picture should pop up, and that's me and Kate eating in year 11, non uniform friends. day. Um, and that's a blast from the past. And here we are, it's bigger than I remember. Obviously, it was opened it out. Thing, All right, so now we're walking up to the infamous <gasps> school pond. No, I think it looks exactly the same. Oh, no, this, it is was quad, on brick. this is the pond as well, just behind there. And when you, um, when you first came to, to school, when you, you used to come for an induction, didn't you? Yeah. And everyone used to say, you, you, just be careful. You'll get pushed in the pond, you'll get pushed in the pond. And I don't think it ever had these no, railings. It had railings on it. Uh, probably because so many people got pushed in the pond. It's very weird walking it's, around here because it's, it's really like, surreal, it? it's the same, but obviously different. But you kind of have random memories. Yeah, it's like we spent a lot of our lives here. This um, is where Lee used to ring the halls when the power went to his head as a prefect with a mug. She just used to walk around with a mug of hot chocolate being like, hi guys, everything okay? And they'd be like, Lee, what are you doing? I think that's probably it for our little science block as well. tour. That was the science block, yeah. A little tour of the school. Um, we had a big field, which you're going to see, and we even had tennis courts. Um, but it's such a weird experience. So we used to walk. Kate lived closer than I did, but I used to walk with Holly, actually. Holly, who I had science with, she was my next door neighbour. 
used to walk from there. And this is the big field that we had. And it was a lovely school. Yeah, it was a lovely school. Um, active. Fun. I'd love to come back and I don't think you can, but we can try. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed our little romp through Humberston. Memory lane. We've covered primary, secondary, we've uh, covered Humberston Church, Wendover Hall, and uh, and yeah, we'll hopefully do some more sometime. I'm still whispering. I'm on edge because I feel like is we're going to get is it, Yeah, is it really bad? Time. Like, do I, I am whispering quietly, but um, the bike sheds have moved as well. They were never there. <laughs> And uh, Lee would know because he had issues with his bike all his life. Or I've mentioned that earlier about my bike getting nicked. <laughs> um, so, yes, hope you enjoyed. And uh, that's a little glimpse into the wonderful world of Humberston. Ciao for now. Now let's get out of here before they tell us off. Oh my God, we're going to get detention. Deep it. <laughs> oh God, you remember when I got told off for walking over this grass? I mean, you think back and you're like, I Jesus remember it Christ. Like it was yesterday, Mr. Taylor. Leave Pitt! And everyone just froze. <laughs> and I was like walking across the grass. He was like, come hither, young man. He was really eccentric. I mean, I feel like I would adore him now. <laughs> he used to shout silence in the ranks. <laughs> I swear sometimes the teachers used to just take his hands. I do think because he used to walk around with like a gorilla. Like, like, I feel like that it's basically what you would be like as a teacher. Just walk around with really silence in the ranks. <laughs> Humberston School, now the Humberston Academy. We best go. Ciao for now.